All right, so the next topic that we're going to be covering is laws of logarithms. <clears throat> so um, just like we had the laws of exponents, let me go over them real quick. Let me go back. So just like we had the laws of exponents, so for example, here when we're multiplying, okay, we happen to add the exponents, okay? When we divide, we're going to go ahead and subtract the exponents. And then um, when you have, I think it was when you have a power to a power, Okay, so when you have a power, you go ahead and you multiply, okay? So on the laws of logarithms, it has a similar format, okay? So if you have a log and you are multiplying m times n, you can go ahead and separate the logs. So you make two separate logs, one for m and one for n, and then you go ahead and add them together, okay? Now, if you have a logarithm and on there you're dividing, Okay, so you have log base b and then you have m divided by n. You can go ahead and separate the logarithm. So you make one for m and you make one for n. And then you go ahead and subtract the logarithms. Okay, and then if you happen to have a an exponent, okay, then you go ahead and multiply that exponent. Okay, so it has similar laws. Okay, so let's go ahead and look here. Um, it says use the laws of logarithms to expand. So if they want you to expand, they want you to make it bigger. They want you to make it longer. Okay, so the following expression. So here we have log base 2 of 5 times a times b. Okay, so if you see here, we have a 5, we have an a, and we have a b. Okay, so that means that you need to write the logarithm a total of three times because we have three different terms. Okay. All of them are log base two, so you write log base two, log base two, log base two, okay? And then for the five, so you do log base two of five, the other one's log base two of A, and the other one's log base two of B. And because they're all multiplying, because they're side by side like that, that means multiplication. So because they're all multiplying, we just put a plus sign in between. And this is the expanded form of what they gave us. Okay, the next one. So here we have log base 5 of 8 over x. So first you identify how many terms you have. So we have 8 and we have x. Okay, now the 5 is part of the base, log base 5. So you don't have three terms, you just have 8 and you have x. Okay, so that means that we're going to have to write the log a total of two times. So we have log base 5 of 8 and the other one is log base 5 of x. Okay. And then because it's 8 divided by x, it's 8 over x, we're going to have to subtract the x because the x is in the denominator. And that's it. All right, the next one here, we have log base 2 of 6x squared y to the third power. So here, log base 2, that's what we're going to have to repeat. So 6 is one term. We have x squared, which is another term. And then we have y cubed, which is another term. So that means that we're going to have to write log base 2 a total of three times. So log base 2, log base 2, and log base 2. Okay. So the first one is log base 2 of 6. Okay. The next one is log base 2 of x squared. But remember, the rule is, if you don't remember, I have it up here. So the rule is, if you have an exponent, you go ahead and multiply it in the front. Okay. So instead of putting it up here with the the term that you have in here, we're going to put that right in front of the logarithm. So here I am, instead of having the x squared here, I'm going to go ahead and delete that squared there, and we're going to go ahead and put the 2 in the front. Okay. And then the same here, the next one, it's log base 2 of y to the third power, but instead of writing the 3 up here, we need to write it right in front of the logarithm. Okay. Now, because it's 6x squared y cubed, this means multiplication, so that means in between of the logs, we're going to have to put plus signs. All right, the next one. So here we have log base 3 of 4a squared over bc squared. So if I see here, I have a 4. I have an a squared. On the denominator, I have a b. And then I also have a c squared. Okay, so this tells me that I'm going to have to write my logarithm a total of 4 times. So log base 3. Log base 3. Log base 3 and log oh, log base 3. Okay. And then I look at the first one. So the first one is log base 3 of 4. And then we have 
a squared, so log base 3 of a. And remember, you can't write the squared up here at the top. You do have to put it in front of the logarithm. Okay. And then, because the log base 3 of 4 and the a squared are up on the top, we're going to go ahead and put a plus sign in between. Okay. And then we have the b in the denominator. So it's going to be log base 3 of b. And because the b is in the denominator, we're going to have to subtract the log base 3 of b. And then the c squared, we're also going to have to subtract it because it's also in the denominator. Now, I know it's being multiplied with the b, but because it is in the denominator, we do have to put the minus sign there to show that it is in the denominator. So actually, it's log base 3 of c squared, but we can't have the squared up here. We're going to have to put it in front of the log. And that's it. That would be our answer. All right, the next one. So here we have log of the square root of a to the fifth b. So I'm going to have to rewrite this as an exponent. Remember, whenever we have a logarithm, we do have to write it as an exponent. So it's going to be a to the fifth power over b. And then we're going to do it to the power of one half. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and simplify this one more time. So log, I'm going to distribute that one half. So I have log 5 times 1 half is a, a to the power of 5 halves. And then in the denominator, I have b to the power of 1 half. Okay. So now I'm ready to write it into separate logs to figure out how many terms do we have. So we have a, which is 5 halves. We have b to the 1 half. So I'm going to have to write it a total of 2 times. So I'm going to go ahead and write log here. And I write log here as well. Okay. One of them is for a to the power of 5 halves, but the 5 halves is going to go in the front. Not plus, sorry. It's, since it's dividing, it's going to be minus. And then I have b to the power of 1 half, so I have b. And then the 1 half is going to go in front of the log. And that's it. So we did have to simplify that one just a little bit, just so we can write into a log. Okay, now we're going to use the laws of logarithms to condense. So condense means to make smaller. So here I have log base 5 of 7 plus 3 log base 5 of x. Okay, so I am going to condense this into one log. So I have log base 5, that's my common log. So log base 5, log base 5. And then here I have 7. So I'm going to write 7. And then since I have this plus sign here, that means that I'm going to have to multiply. And I'm going to have to multiply times x, okay? And because this 3 is in the front, that means it's x to the third power. So times x to the third power. And that's what that log would look like condensed, okay? So looking at the next one here, um, my common log here is going to be log base 2. So I'm just going to write log base 2 once. So log base 2. And then here, my first term here is x. And I do see a minus sign, so that tells me right away I have division, okay? Now the x is going to go on the top, and then whatever I'm subtracting is going to go on the bottom. So I am subtract subtracting log base 2 of 3, so that means the 3 is on the bottom. All right, this next one. So here I have 1 half log base 6 of m minus 3 log base 6 of n. So my common log is going to be log base 6, okay? And then I do see a subtraction, so that's going to tell me right away that I'm going to have this division. I'm going to have something on the top, and I'm going to have something on the bottom, okay? So for this term, I have m to the power of 1 half. And then on the denominator, I have this 3 that's here in the front. I'm going to have to put that on the n, and that's going to be n to the third power. Now, we do not write, we usually don't write our exponents as a fraction. We usually write them as a square root. So that would be the square root of m over n to the third power. Okay. So either way is correct, but you're going to see it more like the square root rather than the one half. The only time that we change it to the one half is when we are expanding. Okay. So here I do see that there's this three um, outside of the parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that real quick before I do anything. So I have three log base 2 of a minus 3 log base 2 of b. Okay, so my common log is going to be log base 2. Okay, and then the first term we have a here, and the a happens to be to the third power. Okay, I do see a subtraction here, so that's going to tell me that I'm going to have division, so the a to the third power is going to go on the top, and then this third power is going to go for the exponent of b, so it'll be b to the third power. Okay. You might also see this as 
log base 2, and since they're both to the third power, it'll be a divided by b to the third power. Both ways is correct, okay? Um, but this one's a distributed version, and this one is not. Okay. This next one, this time around, I have three terms, okay? So I have log base 3 of 4 plus... 3 log base 3 of m minus 2 log base 3 of n. So my common log here, if you see, is all, they all have log base 3. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write that one time since we're condensing. So log base 3. And then this one is going to be log base 3 of 4. Now I do see a plus sign, but along here I do see a minus sign. So that means we're going to have division. So the 4 is going to go on top times and then here this is plus so this is going to go on the top with the m so this will be plus m to the third power and then on the denominator because we have this minus here that tells me that this term is going to go on the denominator and this squared should go as the exponent of n so it'll be n squared all right so change of base formula so your change of base formula here is um so here we have log base a of x. You can rewrite this as log base b of x divided by log base b of a. So um, back in the old days, they had this change of base formula where we were um, unable to use a log base to a 25. So in a, in a different way to put it in our calculators, you could put it as I'm going to use the log for the base to be 10. So that would be log of 25 divided by log of 2. So you can rewrite it like that, and then they want you to put this in your calculator by using the change of base formula. Um, so if I were to put that in my calculator, and we are rounding three decimal places, so log of 25 divided by log of 2 is going to give me 4.644. 4.644. So this one, if we write it um, with the change of base, using the change of base formula, we would write this as log of 12 divided by log of 5. Okay. And if I were to go ahead and put that in my calculator, that is going to give me um, 1.544. 1 1.544. Okay. So this next one is going to be log of 5 divided by log of 0 0.5 equals, when I put that in my calculator, that is going to give me, whoops, log of 0 0.5, negative 2.32, 2.32, 2. and last, we're going to do log of 16 divided by log of and when we punch that in our calculators, that is going to give us 2.524. That's it. Thank you guys. Bye.